How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and what the heck is Rory doing on the front screen? That's so wild. Usually it's always either Goldie or Soleil. Yeah, but I guess it's Rory today. Anyway, it's time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf Adventures in Cheville. Let's see what is going on around town. I gotta get some turnips, most likely. In fact, why am I signing on as warder? I need to get turnips. Well, I'll see what's up around town. Guess I'd probably be smart. I buy my turnips on my secondary character. Well, I don't really have everything all optimized for that. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't buy turnips this week. <laughs> I'll have to see. Like, I made a pretty good amount last week. It was all right. All right, anyway, let's see what we got here. We got a hundred Kappa bits from Jedi Aster in my mailbox. <laughs> Under the winking Kappas. <laughs> Thanks so much for the Kappas. Always appreciate it. All right, so, wow, my inventory is clear. So what the heck does Olaf have to say? Uh, let's see. Fashionable warder. This accessory will bring out a new, even more charming side of you. That's the feeling I get, anyway. It's the perfect disguise for when you want to sneak out at night from Olaf. Oh my gosh. Alright, what is the perfect disguise when I want to sneak out at night? It's a green zap helmet. Are you serious? I don't think I'm going to be sneaking out in a green zap helmet. Thank you, though. Yeah, I actually kind of thanked Olaf. Uh, I need to get rid of this thing. Oh, man. All right. So, where the heck is Joan? And what the heck is she doing? Okay. Looks like we don't have any luck with the blue roses here. Although, I have a feeling this may still work. Because I was looking into, like, genealogy of flowers and stuff. And it's possible that this red rose may have blue rose genes in it. So, we'll just have to see. And a hundred more Kappa bits from Luvalta <laughs> saying, ready those Kappas. Oh, man. It's like 1 a.m. we were talking about before the stream. 1 a.m. over there. That is, uh, that's pretty late. <laughs> so early for me. I'm not an early morning kind of guy. Oh, man. All right. Let's go ahead and drop these roses off here. They're not the ones I need. Which is a shame. All right, well, let's just try to get some more of the blue roses. That's my goal. I want to get a second one. Then I can make a whole ton more. Uh, let's see. Packerfan0608 saying... Oops, I missed my stop. No, that's not what Packerfan said. Uh, saying, hi, Marilyn. Funnily enough, I was just playing along. The Lyric Explorers of Sky. Let's play. Oh, that's great. Glad to hear it. All right, so I found a lost item. I feel like I just did this yesterday, <laughs> except that was in uh, my gold nuzlocke. So, let's see if this is Tutu's. Tutu! This is yours. No. Huh, I wonder whose it could be. All right, let's talk. Walter from Norin. Norlin? Norlins! Hmm. Alright. Oh, there's Joan, and of course, such an inconvenient location. All the way on the other side of town! Alright, how much for your turnips? Wow, the perfect price, 90. It doesn't get any lower than that. That is great. I gotta buy turnips this week. That's really good. As far as prices go, it does not get any any better than that. You know he is dead. Wonderful. Okay, well, I feel good about that then. I guess I will buy turnips. I was a little on the fence. If they're, like, really expensive, I might not even. But I feel like that's worth it. All right, what's up? Uh, let's see, so on the spur of the moment the other day, I sort of bought a regal sofa. But to be honest, this isn't the sort of thing that really suits me, so I'm trying to unload it. Sure, I'll buy it. Okay, so for the regal stuff looks nice. Alright, give me the stuff! 
There we go. All right, next up. Oh, 100 more Kappa bits from Jedi Aster. Thank you for the Kappa bits. <laughs> I try to do the wink whenever I can. All right, you know what? There was something I forgot about yesterday. I actually forgot about the, uh, oh, Olaf's here. What? I forgot about my kitty stereo. It's so rad. Olaf, you don't want this. Actually, you do want this. Buy it! <laughs> I want to make you waste money! Speaking of wasting money, no, I'm just kidding. Abe Perez just subscribed for the second year in a row. That's right, 24 months saying, what? Your Meryl Tail is evolving. Congratulations, your Meryl Tail evolved into a purple Meryl Tail. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the big service, Abe Perez. <laughs> Hopefully not wasting money on that. Right, right, nah, hopefully. Any of you subscribing think you're getting just a, a really fun time here. That's one thing I try to do, uh, especially nowadays. Like now, you know, Twitch has definitely come a long way for me. Like a lot of the people who've been around for, you know, 24 months, you know, I was a lot more spotty when it came to YouTube and I didn't do as much. And like nowadays we got a good rhythm, almost too good. But yeah, hopefully. While still having a good time. All right, so I gotta figure out who this item belongs to. What in tarnation? Slay, how are you doing? I've come to the realization where Shavilla and I go together like, well, a lot like coconut soda and succotash, and they don't go to we go well together at all. Well, no, no, the 26th of the month. Oh well, you know what? I I'm not gonna give up on her. I think she's going to stay, but I, I'm i gonna say, okay, bye. Give her a chance to change her mind. Oh, good. I hope you wouldn't be too bothered about my moving order. Well, I still have a little time left in town, so she'll probably change her mind. I actually would like her to stay, to be honest. Like, she is really great, but, you know, it's not like she had a terrible reason. A lot of you have been like, oh, Soleil has no personality, and it's like, oh, I disagree, Soleil's awesome, but, and she gave me the throne, but if she wants to go, we'll just kind of let her kind of test the waters, just kind of see if that's something that she'd want to do. All right, how are you doing, Goldie? Is this yours by any chance? Oh, I didn't even ask if that was Soleil's, did I? I don't think I did. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you left it on the hill! Take my bone shirt. Wow, that's pretty spooky. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Talk to me. Do you hang out much with Tutu Order? Sometimes I lend her books from my collection. We haven't spent much time together, but anyone who likes to read is okay by me. I see. Alright, I'm bored. All right, well, that's fine. <laughs> Nightwolf 1998 saying, she bought you the throne and now she can't afford her loan, rather her loan from Tom Nook, so she's skipping town. <laughs> that might be it. Might be it. All right, so I guess we solved that mystery. Which is a good thing. Now, oh, there's Rory. Let's go talk to Rory. Good word. Nice day for some exercise, eh, Capital? What you need? All right, let's chat. Yeah, I was thinking it'd be cool if we hung out at your place today. Oh, really? Some bro bro bonding done. Uh, sure. You know what? I got a good time for it. Let's do this at the afternoon stream, of course. So, three. Uh, let's do like 3.10 p.m. Does that sound good? That sounds good. Gotta remind me of that. 10.10. Or 3.10 today. Alright! Alright, so. I'm leaving it up to you, chat, to remind me. <laughs> 3.10, we got uh, a visit with Rory in the house. Man, I just obliterated everyone. 
Noobs! All right, so let's see what is over, over here. It's for sale. I gotta get some music. That's what I need. Now I can buy music every day and bushes every day too. That's exciting. All right, yeah, I like this place. Ooh, fancy kitchen sink. My place. What's it like? This is nice. I'll take it. What is this? Oh, it's a sewing machine. Oh, an old sewing machine. Sure, I'll buy it. Why not? And let's buy the kitchen sink. I gotta get a kitchen together at some point. I feel like I can totally do that. Ooh. Broken post. That looks pretty rad. And a speed bag. Sure, I'll buy it. I'm a sucker for buying stuff. And this robo wall clock. Let's buy this as well. All right, what about your wallpaper and floor? Backyard lawn. Ah! <laughs> sure. Modern wood flooring. Ooh, wait a second. Hey. I gotta get that, because I'm all about that modern wood stuff. Shanty wall. No, I already have that. We're good. And library wall. I do like the look of this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that. All right, cleaned you out, pal. Whoa, my inventory, <laughs> hold up. All right, I need to sell you some stuff, not to make money, but just to get inventory space. So take this, because I've gotten like five million green zap helmets. Uh, I'll order a kitchen sink at a later date. Uh, let's get rid of all of this stuff. Other than the flooring, of course. Alright, next up. Oh, that's a nice looking flower. Well, that's not what I need. I need the sapling and I need some bushes. I want to set the bushes up over by the coffee shop. Probably go get some coffee right now. Man, I tell you, it's one of those caffeine days. <laughs> I don't have caffeine in my system. I haven't had caffeine in a while. Quite a while. I think since my trip to Canada. That was back in May. Wow. I switched to decaf coffee. Actually works out better, I have to say. I still have plenty of energy. Um, all right, I gotta get this dress. Please dress. I'll buy it. And what is this? A frock coat. All right, well, it looks like some kind of fancy alchemist coat. Ashley Rudder saying, hi, newbie to the stream. Well, welcome aboard. Glad to see you here. Of course, with the, the lovely, the, the Mitzi waving. That's so great. Yeah, just buying some turnips as well. About to buy some turnips this morning. Uh, I haven't actually started with that yet. Now, do I have a bunny hood? I don't seem to recall if I do. Well, I'm going to buy it just in case. And that way I can get added to my lovely catalog. Student cap. That's the thing that kind of looks like a police cap. I think I'll buy it just in case. And this stunning blue plaid fedora. I have that over on my waffles game. But I think I'll go ahead and pick it up just in case. Also, do I have these? I don't think I do. Uh, let's go ahead and take that. And a hundred salty bits! From Jedi Aster, so much salt! Why? <laughs> What's up with the salt? Oh, thank you so much for the uh, the, the little seasoning 
for my Kappa salad here. Kappa bit salad, right? <laughs> oh, man. All right, what do we got for shoes? Ooh. Uh, these. Green sandals. All right, let me get these things. Brown socks. All right, I could totally go for some brown socks right about now. What? What? All right, what's the deal? Why do we got so much stuff? Uh, let's put away this music. I gotta get these socks. Gotta get the socks. All right, there we go. All right, so... That takes care of that. I'm wondering if I should just go and get the turnips. And then go back to sleep! <laughs> mornings, man! Mornings! Oh, you know what? I should probably take a look at Nick's homes. I wanna see if there's any kind of like exterior things. Uh, Cause at some point I can upgrade my house. Well, not upgrade it, but like make it look cooler. Like this, although I don't really want it to look like that. I see here is really appealing. Although, this combo's news... not newspaper box. Uh, mailbox is kind of nice. I like the barrel one I have right now, though. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Alright, I need to... I need to put some of this stuff away. Set the bushes down. Get rid of that sapling. And I don't know. I don't know. Probably deal with turnips in thinking about it. All right, let's see. So I'm setting up this lovely area over here for some bushes. I think it'll look nice over by the coffee shop or the cafe. Uh, yeah, they're both growing. So my plan is I want to bring these bushes out over here. I think we'll have to do more tomorrow, of course, but the end goal is to have them, like, kind of wrap around here. Just sort of provide a nice little, little outside area. I don't think I can put anything there, but maybe. Like, if I could put a bench there, that'd be amazing. But I don't think I'll be able to... Actually, let's find out. I haven't set up a public works project in a while. I've been really slacking on that. I've been waiting for more suggestions, too. I didn't want to do the whole diving trick or whatever, but I do want to see. Uh, let's see. We'll do this. How satisfied is everyone? It's becoming quite good. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, right. They want more public works projects, of course. Um, okay. So, let's see. Right! We should probably celebrate this fountain that I made a while back. Sure, I'm down for a good celebration. Alright, uh, Alley Cat 1469 saying, Not doing any pattern with bush types slash colors. No, it takes such a long time to get bushes if you don't like time travel or stuff that I'm just gonna plant them when I can get them. Because otherwise, it's just ridiculous. Maybe at some point in the future I'll do something, but for right now, I just want to set it up the way it is. Like, I could maybe replace them in the future, too. Because I like having bushes all throughout the town. But being able to get only two per day really stinks. Although I guess I could get some from the island, but even that gets rather expensive. Alright, well we did it! We made a fountain, guys! Did a... Fountain. Oh, even Joan showed up. Who have I not talked to? Let's talk to Soleil again. Watch her change her mind about moving immediately. <laughs> yeah, Joan is right here. Alright, well, we'll deal with Joan in a moment. Right now, what I want to do, I want to see about setting up a bench over there. I don't have the bench I really want. I think I'd like a fairy tale bench. Or something. I don't know. There's like a few different types of benches. But I don't really have the one that I want. However, I can at least see if any that I do have access to. If they look nice. 
All right. Yellow bench. What other stuff do we have? Is there anything? Yeah, my stuff really stinks. Oh yeah, I can make a wind turbine. That might be a good thing. Okay, I'm probably not going to do this. I just want to see, just for future reference, if this would work. Because I don't want it too close to the cafe, but I'd like it sort of outside. Nice relaxing spot. So how close can I have it? That's what I want to know. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm just going to try it out. Yeah. Okay, so what about right here? Is this going to work? Ooh. Okay, so I'd bring it over to the left a little bit, but theoretically, theoretically I could have a nice, like, bench outside for you to kind of sip some coffee. Alright, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, if that were right there. Okay, so that's lined up with the top sapling. Got an idea. Uh, alright. We're done here, Isabel. Uh, cancel the project! Yep. Okay, so... What I'm thinking is, for right now, what we can do is we can just set two little tiles right here. That'll be... Oh, that's going to drive me crazy, though, because I'm not going to know what these are. <laughs> I'm going to be like, wait, i got to fill in the rest of them. So let's put our good old Cheville placeholder right here. So eventually, this is where the bench will go. And yeah, that'd be fine, because actually, wait... No, that will be fine, because the bushes are going to wrap around here. So there will be just enough room. For a bench. I don't really know if I like it or not, though. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It's worth a shot, I guess. So... Inventory, that's right. Rest in peace inventory. Let's go... Sell some stuff off over here. I gotta replenish my funds. <laughs> gotta tap into the bank. Alright. I don't need any of this stuff. Except the modern wood flooring. Actually, I should hold on to the socks. And the sandals. Alley Cat 1469 saying you could always do a bench on the other side of the path beside the roost instead. Is there room? I don't think there's room. Oh, I guess there is. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I could set it over here. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of close. Kind of close to here. 200 bits from Jedi Aster. Thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate that. Alright, I want to get this thing. What the heck? Oh, it landed on the rock. That's awesome. Uh, I did it! I caught a banded dragonfly. Okay, I want to hold on to this thing, because I think that might be a little bit better than a darner dragonfly. And if ever someone asks for a dragonfly in the future, which has happened, I, uh, I don't know. I might be fine with that. Like, I think that'd be a lot better. Okay, what is the- oh yeah, Zipper Tea Bunny. Oh, I never got my coffee. Whoa, what is this? Bathroom shelf. Oh, I gotta get that for the eventual bathroom I'm going to make. Gotta get that. I forgot to refill my water, <laughs> so I need uh, I need to kind of handle this very, very cautiously. I only have a very small amount of it left. Wait, is that another banded dragonfly? I think it is. 
No, I think it's Darner. Yeah, it's a Darner. You darn Darner. Dragonflies are everywhere this morning. All right, I want to get rid of this one. Get out of here. All right, so what else do I need to do? I need to put that music away. That'd be good. Oh, I was doing some playing around with gyroids the other night. I always do that. It's kind of become my new thing. You know, maybe I should upgrade that door. Like, there is that yellow door. I think it might almost look too yellow. But I am rather curious. Like, that might still be good. What? Oh, right! It's in my letter thing. Ahem, wrong thing. There we go. All right, uh, no, actually, we can just do this. My place. <laughs> I love these guys. They just always know how to figure things out. Uh, level tall with 300 bits. Saying hashtag Team Chugga Conroy with two dashing Chugga Conroys there. Uh, thank you so much for the bits, even if that is Team Chugga Conroy. Ah, Team Maryland for the win. Wait, what am I doing? This isn't what I want to do. I want AK Groove. Yeah, A Perez, I did kill the uh, the Go Maryland, Go Chugga Conroy commands. We hit 2,000 with Chugga Conroy. I think that's enough. All right. So the question is, how is this modern wood floor going to look upstairs? Because I do have... Oh, see, this looks so nice. That doesn't look terrible, but I don't like it as much as this exotic rug. Like, this just looks so much nicer. I'm gonna hold on to the modern wood flooring, but I'm not going to put it down there. I don't think that'd be good. 100 bits from Jedi Aster! You guys have been on fire with the bits. Thank you so much for the bits! Uh, let's see. I need to set this away. Oh, I wanna put the kitty stereo up somewhere, too. Did you know that there will be a day that I'll actually sort all this stuff out? <laughs> oh, I don't know when, but someday. Someday it's gonna happen. It'll shock you. Okay, so let's see. Kitty Stereo. I wanna set this over in the balloon room. Because I think I only have like a jukebox over there right now. hate this balloon room. Don't like balloon stuff. I, you know what? I wonder if I have everything from the balloon set. Kind of curious. I have to say that does go quite well with it. All right, my place. A hundred more bits from Lubotol. Saying, go forth, my biddies, destroy Jedi Aster's collection of bits. <laughs> oh, the bit battles are real. Uh, let's do bubblegum KK there. Uh, that gnome is really creepy. I gotta send that gnome to someone. I don't know who, but someone. I don't more bits from Jedi Aster! Bits. All right. <laughs> I don't want to live all time. I can't keep up with it now. Okay. So I want to have my place down here. This is like some testing music. And a hundred from Jedi Aster. I can't keep up. <laughs> Slowly but surely they're whittling away at A Perez. 
Uh, all right. So I think that's probably all I need to do right now. Oh, I gotta get my coffee. I'll get my coffee, then I'm gonna go buy some, um, turnips. Oh, Chris Lynette with 100 bits saying the bit war has begun. <laughs> oh, it's always really funny when I, I see all the bits flying back and forth like that. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So much. All right. Oh, 100 from Louvotal saying this VOD is going to be a mess. <laughs> oh, man. That it is. Hundred from Jedi Aster. All right, give me a cup of coffee, please, and I'll take the blend. Ah, thank you so much, pal. Ah, delicious cuppa. All right, that was really refreshing. Blood Doctor 187 saying, haven't been here in a few days. What happened to Leonardo? We had a really fun game kicking Leonardo out, essentially, because he kept saying, oh, I'm gonna move. Oh, no, psych, oh, I'm gonna move. No, psych, so it's like, you know what? You are going to move. I'm sick and tired of your shenanigans. So, yeah, we ended up getting rid of him in a, a challenge. It used uh, uh, the... Uh, Animal Crossing cards, the amiibo cards. And we went to Desert Island Escape and did some stuff with that. Oh man. Alright, let's see. Uh alright, so we're gonna sign on as Thea to buy some turnips. All right, there we go. Nerd Zone saying, no, you are not British, Maryland. You cannot say cuppa. I can. <laughs> I can. Actually, in the US, they do say cuppa, like cuppa Joe all the time. All right, anyway, I got to clear some inventory room. And look at that, 600 bits from Louveltal. There have been a whole bunch of bits prior to that. Hopefully, you've been able to see them popping on the screen. But 600 bits... From Louvotal saying, goodbye, bit boss. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. Everyone, seriously, even if I haven't been reading them aloud, they just keep coming in so fast. Whoa, Jedi Astro striking back with savory, bitty goodness. 1,500 bits. Well, that didn't last long. Thank you so much for the bits. Oh, man. That is crazy. All right, so... Wait, what am I doing in here? I want to have all my turnips in the drawer. So, let's see. Because I'm done with math in the morning. Actually, all day. What am I talking about? Let's just see. 90 times 18,000. So, 1.62 million I'm going to need. Louisville Tall with 100 Swift Rage bits. <laughs> uh it was a valiant attempt. All right, so I think this is all the money I'll need for turnips. Oh my gosh, I may have a bit much in here. Um, rather than drop it off in the bank, I'm just gonna set it away in here. Or I could get a lot of turnips. That's a possibility too. Should I? Nah, I'm just gonna get 18,000. It's just easier that way. 200 bits from Crystalnet saying, and Jedi Aster is the new bit boss. <laughs> LOL. Indeed. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna open up a pack after I get these turnips. You guys have been on fire with the bits this morning. <laughs> it's been really funny, really funny. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I just gotta prioritize these turnips. Gotta be making money. I really should drop off that 
that record player, the cassette player, whatever. It's so quiet in Fia's house. Jeez, they got a lot of money. Yeah, usually I try to sort all this stuff out, like, the day before, but I was busy with something else last night. Okay, almost at the end. Thank goodness. Just imagine how much time it's going to take to run over to the bank. <laughs> A lot. A lot of time. Alright. This should do it. I think there's a pack of oranges in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there is. Is that it? Oh! No, there's more money! Jeez. Never ends, I tell ya. Got like six and a half mil, no big deal. All right, let me get those oranges. Now we should be set up for buying the turnips I need, right? I believe so. How much money do I have? 6,000, so I'm actually going to need one more stack. Uh, yeah, let's get one more stack. Okay, and now let's set this there. That should be enough, 1.7 mil. All right, so where are you, Joan? Am I going to have to take that long walk all the time just to find you? It might be better to just power cycle. Just turn it off, turn it on again. Let's see if I can track her down. She was over here, right? No, she wasn't. Why does she always do this? So frustrating, I tell ya. One of my least favorite things. It's just how obnoxious Joan is. Like, you'd think if you're here to do business, you should set up shop somewhere consistent rather than wander around aimlessly. Seriously! Where the heck is she? Ooh, that's gonna be a pain to go back and get that fossil. Ugh. Like, this is so bad. I wish I could set up a petition to force Joan into, like, one spot every time she's here. Alright, Flygon Freak saying maybe use the megaphone, but then the downside is I have to carry around a megaphone. Oh well, at least her turnip prices are really good. Like, this is some top-notch turnip prices. Uh, let's see, I wish San saying, can't you trap her? I think whenever you reload the screen, she can, like, teleport around. Which is rather unfortunate, but... Yeah, if you are playing on multiplayer... You definitely can. Alright, you know what? I got an idea. I need to switch all these to the bottom in C and thinking about it.
Okay. Oh, there's more. Wait, why is there more? Uh-oh. I have too much money now. How did I forget all of that money? Well, I'll sort it out later. Uh, let's see. Wild Gex 7 saying, you can trap her. Fine, as long as you don't turn the game off. She is stuck. I could have sworn I tried that, like, a few years back. Unless it's something that they changed. Because I used to buy a lot of turnips. And I remember doing whatever I could to do that. And I remember trapping her. But I remember that she just broke out anyway. Because it, like, deloaded or something. Uh, let's see. Alleycat1469 saying, if you're playing multiplayer, or just have two 3D, two 3DSs and two games, visit yourself with, you could always stay in a conversation with her with the visiting character so she can't move. Yeah, and actually, if you dig, um, dig holes around her, <laughs> then she won't be able to move either, which is an even better solution. If you have access to multiplayer. While buying turnips. How on earth did I get all this money? <laughs> I mean, like, I thought I put it away. But no. Alright, so... This will work out quite well. Hello, Joan. All right. <laughs> Lou Voltal saying, "Welcome to Cheville, where if you don't obey, if you don't obey by our rules, we dig holes around and trap you. Right, and if you're Olaf, we'll throw pitfalls in your face." <laughs> oh man. All right. I wish it were easier to buy turnips. I know that this isn't, like, that hard or anything. It's just... It's boring. Like, if they could stack to 100, I would be very fine with that. Let's see. Gracie just bought me out of house and home. Good thing I have 30 million from turnip trades. Yeah, good thing. It can be really expensive. Man, it seems like a shame to only buy 18,000 turnips when they're 90 bells. Like, part of me wants to just go crazy and get twice as many. Because if I sell them for... Like what, 15, or not 15, uh, like 500 each? That's a lot of profit. Oh, I don't think I finished A, whoops. And I would like a lot of profit. Yeah, ghoul friends, 90 bells! About as good as it gets. I mean, it is as good as it gets. It doesn't get any better. That's why it's like, oh man, maybe I should double up and go with like 36,000. Two full loads. So it'd be like just under 10 mil. In fact, if it's over 500, like 540 or so, that's like 10 mil. So I could get up to 20 mil if I got two batches. Might be worthwhile. I mean, 90 is just such a tasty price.
that would put me a lot closer to a hundred million. And then that's that much closer to a billion. Oh, but then it's still all that time invested. Well, we'll see how tired I am after buying all this. All right, what pack should we open? Feeling like series four. Guess we'll kind of get that thing set aside. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, I got a mushroom too. I have to get rid of that thing. Well, not get rid of it, but I have to set it aside. I think I have mail, right? I just have to put it in there for now. Where am I going? He's over here. My bad. All right, here we go. All right, cool. I have enough. I don't even have to restock my money at all, and I have enough to buy more. I mean, I might as well, though. Whoops. All right, let's see. A is full. Halfway through B. Hmm. I'm leaning more and more towards getting a lot of, fo uh, not fossils, a lot of, uh, Turnips. I think 38,000 might be good. Like, that's a bit of work, but... I think it'll pay off. I haven't had, like, a really big spike in Cheville yet. Alright, let's see... Daddy Goody asking, is there a reason my laptop handles Twitch horribly, but my phone does it just fine on the same Wi-Fi, too? Um, it's hard to say, really. There's definitely a reason. I just don't necessarily know what it is. It may be, like, a different band of Wi-Fi. Like, if your laptop only has, like, an older form of Wi-Fi, like, what is it? 802.11a, or not AC, like... N or G or something, yet your phone has better. That could offer an explanation? I really don't know. Um, maybe it's a slower laptop? I honestly don't know. Like, it could be any number of reasons. Their new app is pretty bad. I don't really like it. I'm sorry, Twitch, but it's just really bad. All right, so... I need to finish buying these turnips. Oh my gosh. There are lots to buy. But it's fine. You know what? It's one of those things that I think in the end it'll work out if I get a lot of these. Okay, so we're going to open up a pack in a moment. After I buy the first batch, let's do that. And I'll have to kind of collect my thoughts and stuff. All right, we'll put that mushroom away. Uh, 
let's see, Maddie Goody's saying, hmm, my laptop is fairly new and has an i7 processor, but I don't know if that does anything, because I know next to nothing about computers! Thanks for the insight, guys. Well, an i7 should be able to handle it. Like, that's more than current. I was thinking if it was, like, a really old computer. But that's certainly current enough, especially on a laptop, so I really don't know. That's weird. Just imagine if I had, like, an unlimited turnip bag like she clearly has. That would be the solution. Just bring a stash of cash and just buy turnips like crazy. Like, that'd be great. So it took about 20 minutes right now. Well, probably 25 minutes when everything's said and done. That's probably it. Um, whoops. Gone too far this time. All right, right over here. <laughs> Yeah, I could probably get that done. I think I'm going to. I think we'll do that. It's a really good price. Good profit margin. It'll mean it'll take a while to sell all these, but the good news is that is a uh, potential for a lot of money. Okay, final load, at least this time around. Olaf. I keep wanting to run over there because that's where I sell turnips. Okay, I'm buying. There we go. Okay, so let's go back to the house. And... I should probably upgrade the house, too, in thinking about it. That makes sense. Oh, well, I'm not going to do it right now. Um, alright, so... I need to open up a pack. However, I want to do that over in Warder's house and thinking about it. It's a little cozier. Got the music and everything. Okay, so 18,000 turnips. That's all set. Let's deal with that in just a moment. I want to open up this pack of Series 4. See what kind of fun stuff we'll get. But I just want to do it where it's nicer. And let's face it, Warder has a much nicer house. Much nicer. Alright, we need... We need this music. Actually... Did I just spend a lot of time? I think that was in here, right? Yeah, that's right. This is good. Okay, so we'll... We'll do this place. All right, all right. So hopefully this works. Get a little bit of rearranging things. Um. Hmm. Okay, and also I have to... I guess I can move the 3DS there. All right, let's do the pack opening. Well, it seems like it still works. That's a good sign. Only time will tell, though. So, let's get this thing open up. What do you say? Yeah, I kind of like this music. It's alright. It's 
kind of peaceful. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna open it like this to start it up. Okay. There we go. Get this mouse out of the way. So that's not gonna work, is it? Um, uh, right there. All right. So we've got Bruce. We've got Mael. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, we've got. Oh gosh, it's Olaf again. No, go away. We got Sylvia. What's up with all the civilians? Oh, Melba! I love Melba! Oh my gosh! She's so adorable! And we got Red. Well, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah. Recap it for you. We got Bruce. We got Mael. We got Olaf. We've got Sylvia. Melba! Ah! And Red. Yeah, I actually did move Melba into uh, Waffles the other day. Well, actually earlier, like a month ago or something. But I had her back in my GameCube version. Oh my gosh, Luviltal saying Melba. Melbourne, of course. I was trying to figure that out, actually, because it seemed like I had it with every other koala being named after, like, an Australian city. And then I was like, Melba? Wait. Doesn't make sense. Melbourne, of course. <laughs> it's so clear now. That makes perfect sense. Alright, so that was fun. So much for the bits, everyone. Oh, we should probably send someone to this world, shouldn't we? Ooh, I could get more Meow Coupons. Uh, ooh, Sky Shirakuma makes an interesting point. Eugene. I don't know where Eugene would be. But yeah, he's a koala. Hmm. Hmm, that's a good point. There goes that theory. There's got to be a pun behind it. There's got to be. It's just how it works. Okay, so I got to get this all sorted out. This is going to take up two of the... the storage things. Of the boxes. Okay, Luvaltal saying, I can recognize all these location references since I'm an Aussie myself, and all the awful puns to go with it. Okay, so enlighten us. Eugene, is there a pun there? Does, I don't get it, and Sky Shirakuma doesn't get it, but it seems like every other koala now has that. So is there some reference that we're missing out on? Because then, like, we got it all under control. We can just figure that one out. Uh, oh! Leveltel saying it might be a play on the word eucalyptus. That is a definite possibility. Is what koalas eat, after all. It's a stretch, though. Hmm. Man, I gotta get some music in here. It just sounds like death inside of here. Oh, <laughs> I guess that's a rather morbid thing to say. It's just silence, but I don't know. Silence is killer. Okay, I'm buying all these turnips. I gotta do it. 
Probably gonna regret it. Only have an hour. But I gotta do it. It's like the best price you can get. Uh, let's see. Maddie Goody asking, why did we name her Fia? Several reasons. One, it's kind of, kind of looks like fire. And we wanted to almost go with an elemental theme. Second, it's like Mafia, because she's in the Turnip Mafia. And I don't think there is any third reason. I think I just liked it. I think someone suggested Mafia, and then I got the idea, oh, let's just name her Fia instead. All right. It's quiet. It's too quiet. Isn't this fun? Isn't this just so exciting? Oh man, I'm having a blast using my stylus to slide these little circles into those other circles. Oh, this is really fun. <laughs> having the time of my life. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, let's see. I gotta put this in here, right? Yeah. Pokemama Camille saying, I just found a Jacob's Ladder in my town. Oh, congrats. That's awesome. That actually means, I think it means you have a perfect town. They only grow when you have a perfect town. So that's a good sign. You should talk to Isabel at the uh, town hall on the front desk and see if she says you've got a perfect town. Because if you keep that up for 15 days in a row, I think it is. And I think that means... You'll be on track to get a watering can, gold watering can, and the flower clock. Uh, let's see. Lemon Tato saying, just curious, what are you doing to make your stylus invisible on the lower screen? Uh, it is a, a DS capture. Oh, I guess I, I have a short cord now. It's a DS capture, 3DS capture, so it, uh... It doesn't, like, it's not a camera or anything, so it doesn't show the, the stylus when I use the touch input. But I am using it. It's right here. <laughs> I kind of wish that there were some kind of, like, I don't know, indicator on the screen to show, hey, this is where I'm dragging everything. I feel sorry for whoever is going to have to host me for selling off these turnips. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, Venus Queen EJ saying, The flower clock you get immediately when achieving perfect town status. Golden can is 15 days. All right, I was mistaken. Thanks for clarifying that. It's been a while. Like, I haven't gotten that in probably two years, two or three years, maybe. Okay. 11.05. Gotta really book it. Come on. Life without music and Animal Crossing, ugh. Just 
just not a life worth living. All right, we're almost done with this batch. So I'm gonna need some more money. I think I had like five bags in, so we'll take 10, 11, take 12 just in case. All right, we're almost ready for the next round of turnips. Going for 36,000. That is a lot. All right, round two, fight. Oh no, where is she gone? Oh, she's hiding behind this tree. Of course. All right, so Miss Courtney Olivia is saying, I bought 180 turnips when I checked my bag. I only have 18. So the reason for that is every stack that you see is actually 10. Like for instance, if I wanted to buy 1500 turnips, it automatically adds the zero there. So it's actually the equivalent of only 150 like items but you can only buy them 10 at a time. So that's basically the same thing. So like, see, this is 100 turnips if you hover over it, even though it only says 10. It gets a little confusing. Um, but it's, uh, it's good stuff to learn. Actually, over on my YouTube channel, which is that, uh, <laughs> I do have several other videos on Sundays that explain more about, like, turnips and buying them and stuff. I didn't do an explanation this week, but usually I do, and it's a good way. Eventually I'm gonna make a video. I was actually just thinking today on what it would take to make a video explaining turnips and the stock market and stuff. Getting closer to it, I'm gonna need a bunch of footage and such. But, I think that would be a uh, good, helpful video for a lot of people, because that's how I made, like, a ton of money. I think I'm probably around 25 to 30 mil right now. And, like, I have everything paid off on my main character. All right. Here we go again. <laughs> More turnips. Ugh. Never ends, I tell ya. Alright, so how are all of you guys doing this morning, or this afternoon, or this evening, depending on where you are in the world? For me, it's morning. It's 11.09, but I consider that morning. It's, it is morning. Uh, let's see. The Allie Davis saying, OMG, did you make the Blue Rose video? Um... I made a video with a blue rose in it. I didn't make the blue rose video, if that's what you're wondering. And the locust, or locust, uh, just subscribed. Thank you so much for the big service. That rocks. Oh man, thank you so much. Uh, as Aprez just posted, well, Nightbot specifically, but yeah, there's uh, some instructions on how to get into the Discord server for subscribers, so be sure to check that out. But really appreciate that big service. Oh man, let's see. Uh, 
Venus Queen EJ saying, pretty decent. Went to the zoo, saw some white lion cubs. Good day today. Oh, that sounds adorable. I haven't seen any white lion cubs ever, I don't think. Blue Tall saying, chilling with the stream and late night Animal Crossing. I love the relaxing music that plays this late. Yeah, it is kind of nice when it's late at night, huh? Then I asked her saying, I am tired. I'm going to be taking a nap after this stream. <laughs> Resident sleeper. I, j I really envy you right now. I think that I want to take a nap, but I don't think I'm going to have the time for it. Because I got to get lunch, and then I got to get ready for the next stream. Like, there's maybe a small window, but then I kind of have to wonder if it'd even be worthwhile. Uh, let's see. The Alley Davis saying, oh, okay, I thought you were the same guy. Enjoying the stream. Yeah, apparently there is, like, a pretty nice guide on how to get blue roses on the YouTubes. I haven't actually done anything like that. Like, I got my first blue roses, like, last week, or, you know, just a few days ago, and felt great. Like, I've been trying for ages. Finally got them. Um, finally got them. I didn't actually follow a video tutorial, though. I just kind of, like, I knew what I had to do, but it just takes a while. But it felt so good finally getting them. I need to get one more. And then I'll be able to just get so many of them. Uh, ghoul friend saying, I'm painting my first Gundam model. Sweet. Addy Goody saying, I'm great. Going to make blueberry pancakes for breakfast. Spaghetti with fresh tomatoes and spinach. And blueberry cobbler for dessert. Wow, that's a lot of... Great sounding food, dang. Uh, let's see. Wind up Taco saying, I remember when you said you'd get 250 subs, you'd play the new Pokemon game on stream. Is that still a thing? Uh, I don't think it was 250. I think it was 500 was the goal. Like, it was a way out there goal. Because I was at around 250 at the time, which I'm still roughly at. So, like, I know I'll do... Um, probably like a sleep lock of some sort or a big stream to try to, you know, rally support about a month before the new release. So probably sometime in October, see if we can reach that goal of 500. Um, but yeah, if I can get 500, I think rather than just play through on my own, just to get an idea of what's up. Because I don't want to do a blind playthrough of Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon like I did for YouTube. I'm not going to do that. Um, I would much rather play through the game for a few days first. And get an idea of, you know, what is up in the game. So then when I'm playing through, I won't be like, oh, I don't know what that does. I don't know what this does. No, I don't want to do that anymore. But, I feel like if there's enough support on Twitch, I feel like rather than, you know, really focus on it, I think I could probably half focus and stream it as well. Wait, this is not where I need to be. <laughs> Talking about half focusing, right? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of why it's like a goal. If I can hit it, that'd be great. If not, I'll probably just wait. Like, I don't want to day one it. Because I want to actually play through it first. Or at least do something. And it'd be stream exclusive. I wouldn't actually post that to YouTube. I would post videos to YouTube. Oh, where did she go? Gosh darn it. Uh, let's see. Maddie Goody saying, Ever think about a sun slash moon wonderlock on stream would be insane. Maybe no level limit and have item usage. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't want to do that right now. I want to stick to gold. Uh, let's see. Blue Voltal saying, Hunting for a tarantula slash scorpion is such a pain. Yeah, you know what? I haven't even run into one. Since, like, I don't know, the first night or so. Like, way earlier on. That was the only time I ran into tarantulas. I haven't even seen a scorpion yet. I'm gonna need to find one eventually. 
that's gonna be a pain. I gotta take a look at my July bug list and fish list eventually. Like, we're halfway through the month! We're in the second half now. That's crazy. Uh, the locust sang, or locust. Let me know it, how it's pronounced. It could be either way. Um, but yeah, it's saying, how hard is it to revitalize a neglected town in Animal Crossing? I haven't been able to play for like a month. It's not too bad. One thing I recommend is enact the keep your town beautiful ordinance. Because then you can leave it for months, years even, and like, your flowers will still be there for the most part. In fact, I think they don't die, period. You'll have maybe a few weeds here and there. Like, it's pretty nice. Pretty much it's just like villagers you'll need to talk to again. It really isn't so bad if you have that ordinance. If you don't, good luck. But, eh, you know, give it an hour or two. You'll probably be back in the groove. Okay, let's see. Fortunately, I had the beautiful town ordinance, so that's a benefit. Also, it's pronounced Lockest. All right, I had a feeling. I wasn't entirely sure. Um, all right, Lockest. Got it. Whoops. Uh... Oh my gosh, why can't you just stay still? She's all, like, hyped up on sugar or something. Miss Courtney Olivia asking, is the stock market better than bug hunting on the island? Yes and no. So it's definitely the best way to make a fortune, like an absolute fortune. The amount of time it takes to make money with the stock market is just like way, way less than the amount of time it takes to get the equivalent amount of money with bugs. However, it's based on how much money you have to invest. So, if you have less than, I'd say, one million in bells saved up, and that, that's a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but if you have less than a million saved up, you're probably better off getting bugs on the island. Because it takes, I don't know, maybe a few hours. You'll wind up with a few hundred thousand if you know what you're doing. And... You can do that for a few nights, and that works out quite well. Ideally, you want to do that so you build some capital rather than just upgrade stuff right away. And then invest about a million to two million in turnips. And if you know the tricks for turnips, like, it can be such a good moneymaker. If you don't mind visiting other people's towns and finding, like, a good community, like, there's the Bell Tree forums, which have... I think they probably have stock market thing. I would imagine that'd be a pretty big draw. I know that there's a subreddit for it. Um, different Discord channels. I know, you know, we have the Turn of Mafia around here for Twitch subscribers to my channel. But, regardless, if you are able to coordinate and collaborate with other people investing money in turnips, and then when you find a good price, you sell it then, you know, you'll make four to five times profit reliably, and that's just wonderful. Like, then you're making four million out of one million. And the amount of time it would take to get three million in bugs on the island is just like, it would take so much time. But if you're only investing like, you know, 50,000 or something, you know, realistically, it's not worth the hassle. It's good practice, don't get me wrong, but like, the stock market's better if you have a lot of money to invest. Bug catching is much better. Wait, what? It's not something. Oh, it was a bee. Um, bug catching is still much better if you don't have like a million plus. And sometimes it's better to wait if you do. Uh, if you don't have a million plus, wait on upgrading your stuff until you have that. Because then, like, you'll just have all the money you need. You can just instantly upgrade your house. Well, not instantly, but you don't have to go and earn the money. That's what I did. 
Like I did the stock market. I did bug catching until I had about, I don't remember, like five million. Or no, bug catching until I had one million, invested that into turnips to get like four million, then invested that, and then ended up with like 15 to 20 million. <laughs> so, I mean, it was a lot. But then it's like, oh, I have all the money I'll ever need for, oh, darn it, I didn't want to do that. All the money I'll ever need for upgrades. So, uh, let's see, Miss Courtney Olivia saying, ah, I restarted a town, so I only have like 200k. I'll go back to bugs. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a wise idea at this point. But you might want to consider, rather than upgrading right away, like immediately, hold on to some money. Save it for the stock market. Oh, whoops. Uh, you know what? I got an idea. Remember, you can do that with turnips, so be very careful with that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you do it that way, it then becomes pretty easy to upgrade everything in the future. However, so much of it is based on learning the stock market. Because there's always patterns. There are four patterns in the stock market. And they're based on, uh... Well, checking the prices in retail twice a day. Uh, I actually have several explanations up there. Or I have a feeling if you do a little bit of, like, Google Foo research, you may be able to find out that way as well. But in a, uh, in a nutshell, you want to check the prices every day, twice a day, AM and PM. The prices will vary. You want to see it decrease by a little bit, like three to six bells every single day. And, or every single price point. So like in the morning and in the afternoon, you want to see it decrease by three to six. Because that means you're on a potential spike pattern. And if it doesn't increase by Thursday PM, yeah, then that means you have a decreasing pattern. But otherwise, if you see it start to increase, you don't wait, or you don't sell it immediately when it increases. You wait after the first price point, after the second price point, to the third one is when it should spike. So for instance, Wednesday, let's see, uh, let's say for instance, your price is like 80, 76, 73, 69, 65, and then it goes up to, um... Hundred. Well, okay, you don't want to sell at a hundred. So then the next price point, let's say that's uh, Wednesday p.m. It goes up to a hundred. So then Thursday morning, oh wow, it's two hundred and eleven. Dang, I just doubled my money. No, you don't want to sell it because if it went from like a decrease, then to um. Sorry, I need more, <laughs> more sleep to have a good explanation. Uh, yeah, if it goes to, like, then 100, and then 211, it's not 211. That's not the price. That's not the spike. That's the second point on this map. The third price point could be, like, 500 plus. Possibly. Possibly. Like, it's, it happens. And you get a ton of money that way. So, learn the stock market. There are videos out there. I will eventually be doing um, a video on my channel for it. Now that I have some data and some footage. But that is something I do recommend doing. Because it is a thing. Uh, yeah, you caught me, Farme, saying I won't explain turnips today. Explains turnips anyway. Yeah, well, I mean... I wasn't going to explain it if it's something that, like, a lot of people watching already kind of knew. But I'm more than glad to at least explain the basics of it for someone who doesn't know. Like, I'm always glad to help there. So that's why I figured I'd do that. Always glad to help. Um, so I think that's gonna do it for right now, actually. Um, actually, let me go over here. I need music when I leave. Darn it. So there will be another stream this afternoon. I don't think I'm going to have people visit the town because that went way too late yesterday. So, or not yesterday, last week. 
but I will be doing some visits for subscriber towns, and I think that ought to be a lot of fun. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Animal Crossing New Leaf Adventures in Cheville. See you next time, everyone. Woo!